Hi, I'm Jeff Raymond, Vice President of WIT Lining Systems. On occasion, you will need to measure the dimensions of your liner against the dimensions of the tank it is going into. In this video, I will show you how to measure the liner while it's on your shop floor. Typically, all WIT liners will have creases on the liner to make the liner bend the way it needs to. In the bottom of the liner, you will have a crease that runs around the bottom perimeter of the tank. There will be four bottom corners and the crease will run from corner to corner. From each bottom corner, there is a crease running to the corresponding top corner, representing the depth of the liner. From each top corner, there is a crease to another top corner, representing the length or width of the liner. Lastly, there are creases for the liner to fit the top rim of the tank. With the liner laying flat, you can double check the dimensions. Measuring from top corner to top corner, we can measure the length of a liner. Starting at the corner, hold the tape measure down and walk it hand over hand to get to the other corner to get your measurement. Keep in mind that in order to fit properly, the dimensions of a liner will be a slight bit smaller than the inside dimension of the tank. In a similar fashion, you can measure the depth of a liner. Starting at the top corner, measure the crease down toward the corresponding bottom corner. To measure the width of the liner, open up the bottom. Measure from corner to corner. This may give you a slightly larger dimension due to the radius of the bottom corner. For a more accurate width dimension, refold the liner onto its width and measure as you did on its length. To measure for the rim, Measure from the top of the tank crease to the rim crease. The remaining material is designed to flap back under the rim. In conclusion, to measure a liner on your shop floor, locate the corners and measure the corresponding crease line. Once again, I'm Jeff Raymond with Wit Lining Systems. Thanks for watching.